Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to be jumping right into today's topic because it is some very important information and something anyone who has a Windows computer and or is using a Microsoft account needs to be aware of. If you have a Microsoft account or Windows computer connected to a Microsoft account, you can check to see if anyone that is not you has been trying to get into your account. I had back to back issues this last week in which clients called in because of email alerts indicating that someone had been trying to get into their Microsoft account. Now it's hard to trust a lot of these emails and text messages that we get today, right? Uh, regarding our, ex our accounts, especially uh, because those usually turn into scams or wind up being scams. Now it gets even more suspicious when those emails or messages have links for us to click in them. Now, as I recommended in past videos and always will recommend, if someone sends you a message, go to the source. In these incidents, the person sending the message was allegedly Microsoft. So we went to Microsoft.com, okay, right? So with both of these clients, they got messages, someone saying they were Microsoft and that they saw some strange sign-in activity on the account. Now, this isn't uncommon for Microsoft. They will actually alert you when they see strange sign-in uh, attempts going on it maybe if you have like a lot of sign-in attempts from r random locations that you don't normally sign in from it's not uncommon for them to send these emails out so as i said these emails wound up being legitimate they microsoft was trying to let these two clients know uh the, these clients who will remain nameless uh know that they were uh, somebody at least was trying to get into their account now, somebody was trying to get into the account, and unfortunately, because of the fact that both of these clients didn't have 2FA, they came probably dangerously close to being able to try to petition in, which brings me to my next point, right? So uh, this is pretty standard beha uh, scammer behavior. They'll do this quite often. So let's say, for example, you had an account data breach, not to your fault, but like the companies that store your data in their supercomputers. If they have a data breach and they, they get your email address, the scammers get your email address or it's sold to them or they get it, you know, whatever it means they get it by, they can then use that email, go to Microsoft.com and try to sign into your account. Now, if they have the email, they can always go to forgot password for the password section. Now, let's say you didn't set up two, uh, two FA or two factor authentication, right? Two factor authentication is the method in which you have to have a code sent to like if let's say you're signing in from a new device you have to have a code sent to maybe your phone and an email or go to the microsoft authentication application on your phone and get a code from there or again to your phone email there's different methods that you can use right so let's say you didn't have that set up well then you could try to petition for the account by filling out the recovery form and a, a scammer could also potentially do this to try to take your account. So it's very important to have the 2FA set up or the, the two-factor authentication method set up inside your account and make sure you have valid ones. You want valid email or, um, you know, like I said, the app is good. And then text message is also, is also an acceptable choice. Now, uh, what we're going to do today so that you can get a little um, example of how to check your account and see if you are actually having uh, somebody try to sign into your account. It's hard because I don't actually have an account right now where somebody is trying to sign in. So I'm just going to go to where you would find this information and um, and you can always check this on your own at home. So let's jump into it. So step one, we're going to go to Microsoft.com. All right, so we're going to go to Microsoft.com. Once we get there, we're going to uh, sign in up here in the top right. Okay. Use my saved info. This is just a test example account. All right, so now we're inside the accounts or we're signed in up here in the right now. We'll usually show your name. And you can go to the My Microsoft Account section. And once we're inside of here, we are going to go to the section where it says security here on the left side. 
And from this section, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to make sure that two-step verification is on. If it's not, if it says turned off or turn off or turn on, like mine says, you would turn it on. Again, this is just a, an example account that I made for this video. I'm going to kill it afterwards. But I want to show you these things. So, yes, right now it says turn on, so I'd want to turn on to step verification. Again, that's setting up codes to my phone or email. Uh, this is good in the event that, like, again, if I lose my password and I need to reset it or I'm trying to sign in from a new device or I don't want somebody who's trying to scam me or take my account to sign in from another device, okay? Then we got uh, never lose access to your account right here. This little midsection is where you view my sign-in activity. Okay, and before you do that, they're going to want me to, again, set up 2FA. So, uh, for right now, get you a picture example of what it, once you click in here, of what it looks like again on screen here. This is what it looks like when you have sign-in activity that's not you. Now, normally you should just see... You know, obviously, if you're not in Brazil, not Brazil, right, or London or whatever random places it generates, you want to see whatever state, if you're in the States, you know, whatever state you're in. It's not always precise, exact. Usually the, the same city, it could, you know, don't forget you could, you have a phone, it might, uh, it might you might have signed in while you were remote and, it, and sometimes it might show like other places that's not necessarily your house. Don't be concerned about that. But you do want to be concerned if you see places that are really random or far from your home consistently. That means somebody's trying to get into the account. And that makes 2FA even more important. So you're going to want to make sure you turn that on. So I hope this video helps. If anybody's having an issue with this or has people trying to get into their account, you're going to want to follow this tutorial and go check that out. If you have a Microsoft account, you might as well go just go check it out, to be honest. It's a good thing to check. And, uh, and once you... Take a look in there. You will know whether or not somebody at least has your email address. Not much you can do about it, but again, 2FA or two-step verification, great way to protect yourself. So hope this video helps. Again, hit that like and subscribe below as always, and I will see you all on the next one.